A few days ago, Barry Ferguson hit out and says we cannot let it happen. We cannot let Celtic win anything next year. Ange Postacoglu has hit back and he says we cannot let it happen. We cannot let this team get still. Um, his exact words, we can't let that happen. We have to push on and we have to become a better team, said Ange Postacoglu. Let's look back at the weekend. Wow. What a day Sunday was. The amount of fans at Celtic Park was unbelievable. I think um, the worldwide viewing of the pictures and images has just been unbelievable. And what always gets me is the amount of people that go to pubs around the world to watch Celtic. I mean, I, I see, I've seen it here in Spain, the amount of pubs that I've went to, to to watch games this season. And it's just the amount of people that whether being on holiday or whether stay here, there's a lot of people that stay here that still follow Celtic and still support Celtic. The worldwide audience is unbelievable and you can understand why they want to move into the, the Japan market just to open up new territories. Um, obviously it's their second successive title, back-to-back -back domestic champions and um, with four games to go, there's only Inverness stand in the way of another treble. Yes, another treble. We're going to say it's, it's getting that close. Inverness are going to put up a hard fight, but they will not beat Celtic. On the day, I think the, the team, the players, will know that they've got to make their own part in history and they'll be right up for it. And has been talking about the fact that he says it's his role to make sure that a lot of these players get better. He says they're still young in terms of their football careers. I think there's a lot of improvement that us and a group can make. The experiences that we've had this year, whether it be in Europe or domestically, will make us even stronger. It will be our task to make sure. It's kind of what I said at the end of last year. If we stand still, we come out next year the same team. He says we won't have a chance. He says somebody will overtake us says we can't let that happen, we have to push on, we have to become a better team. Results wise, it will be awfully difficult because it's been an incredible standard that the players have got to this season. In terms of football, there's always room for improvement. And we have seen that, there has been people have been saying on the running that the team has kind of been a bit stale. But Ange Postacoglu has been talking about the fact that the team are relentless. He said, with only one domestic defeat all season suggests it's an inappropriate word to use, um, but he laughed off um, bringing in a number of considerably talented football players over the past season. Clearly, his, his judgment ascending to character and ability on the pitch has been unrivaled in Celtic terms. Um, people are now starting to say, is this team better than the, the Invincibles under Brendan Rodgers? I would say yes, it plays a lot better football. Remember, towards the end of Brendan Rodgers' reign, his football was quite stale. You can't ever see that happening with Ange Postacoglu. He was talking about also Ange Postacoglu says that these players have every sprint, tackle, shot recorded and analysed and their performance broken down into minuscule details. He says, these numbers provide confirmation of the desire that Postacoglu sees in training every week. He says, I see the stats, the, uh, the players are getting better. He says, I haven't felt the need to intervene or motivate anyone in the squad. They are just relentless on their approach to everything. And a lot of that comes down to Callum McGregor and the, and the likes as well, and even, say, Joe Hart, because these guys have been at the highest level, and especially Callum knows what, it, what it's like to win titles. I mean, he's going to go on and be one of the most decorated, decorated Celtic players in Celtic's history the time he hangs up his boots. Says, Ange Postokol says that he smiled, and sometimes a stern look is all he needs to give the players. And it, that Celtic manager says he learned that from his father. I think that we all learned that from our fathers. You don't need anything said, you just that, that look. And in fact, it was my mother that used to give me the look. I was more scared of my mother than my dad. Um, if she gives you the look, it was the look of death. Anyway, Ange Postacoglu says he's got brilliant staff here to help mould this team. In terms of attitude and character, the way they embrace new players into this football club is outstanding. They welcome them as if they're welcome into their home. It's just incredible to see these guys coming from all over the world and they feel they're part of a family. Literally in their first day that they arrive, that's their environment and the culture that we have created in there. It's notable that a number of players signed with Postacoglu have been brought wholesale changes into the history and tradition of the club itself, whether it be Kyogo, Fury Ashes, uh, Jota, Jota turning up in pubs, Kyogo and his, his dance is just unbelievable. The manager believes that it's encouraging to that every player buys in 
to the real value that this club has. He thinks it makes the team stronger and what's important to this football club are the fans. He said it's part of the way we play, it's, it's important that we go out there and we want to excite our supporters and score goals. Can we get better next season? I think it's going to, I think it's in league wise, it's about staying that consistency and, and staying at the top of the pile. That's the one thing that it will be targeting next season. It will be, it's always going to be, it's, when you get to the start of the season, everyone's on a level playing field, you know? So it's all starting from zero. We all start from zero again at the, the end. But we have to embrace that chance. You can't try and reject or change anything. He says, but we'll have to make ourselves better. Tell me your thoughts on, on what you thought about the weekend in the comments. And uh, I'm still... Buzzing. If you're not buzzing and if you didn't have a hangover yesterday, there's something seriously wrong with you. Anyway, we'll wrap this video up and that's there's not really much Celtic news kicking about this morning. If there's any Celtic news this afternoon, we'll drop a video with that. Ange Postacoglu has sort of addressed reasons that players could be sold this summer, but it is all about making us better. There will be players that will be sold. And what happened to James McCarthy? He is one of the most forgotten man at the club at the moment. And Rio Otati also, he wasn't seen at the celebrations. But where is James McCarthy? There's nothing being said about him. The guy's on a fantastically long contract. But anyway, let's just enjoy the moment. As we say, this weekend we go to Ibrox with no fans. And we play them. And then we're back to Celtic Park. Tell me what you think. Ab what about that Aberdeen not getting a penalty? That was just shocking. Anyway. I digress. That's enough for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. We are only 140 subscribers away from the 10,000. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the